My name is Anthony Allen, welcome here to my YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be talking about a free plugin software for Final Cut Pro 10 aka FCPX, Final Cut Pro X and the plugin that we're talking about is called the Super Starter Kit and it is available at Leno FX and we're about to take a look at what we get for that. So, Yo, let's join forces, hit the subscribe button. Hi guys, so here we are inside of Final Cut Pro 10. You can see that I've actually messed around with my workspace a little bit, so it looks slightly different to what you've seen on screen. See, I've just brought back the browser there. And in this video, we're going to be having a look at the Super Starter Kit transitions. I think there is more of the Super Starter Kit. I'm not actually 100% sure, but we're going to have a look for it to show you exactly what we get with this plugin. It's entirely free and it's available at lenoeffects.com. You can find the link to this plugin in the description of this video. So if you're looking for this yourself after you've watched this video, you can find the link directly to this free plugin in the description. So here we are. So at first, we also have our transitions browser already open. Uh, we're gonna have a look through now at the titles and we should see the super starter pack somewhere in the transitions here. So here we are, Leonard FX super starter kit. We're going to select that and there's two transitions within it. I knew that one was there. I'm not 100% sure if there's anything else that's given to us, but I will have a look before we leave this video. So what do we have here? We have a fast cut and we have a uh, fast transition. So the fast cut transition is a fast transition. Let's see the difference between the two. So I have some stock footage within my timeline. The stock footage is completely 100% copyright free. I'm just going to use this here as well. So let's drop this on top of this piece of footage and see what this transition looks like. Let's press play. Here it comes. Now it's not rendered so we didn't actually see that quite quite well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually select that. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that completely changes what we've got here. Um, so basically on the uh, fast cut transition, you can actually place pieces of media within the transition. That has completely changed the game. So I'm going to now go and get some media uh, clips so I can actually place it within the transition. Um, I'm not going to render it just yet. I'm actually going to import something. So let's go. Let's go and import something. So let's go into... Uh, it's, yeah, man, this is this is going to be a lot of fun. So now we're going to import some of this. I did not understand what the fast cut transition is, but now I do. That's amazing. So we're going to go into my external hard drive here. I'm just going to select a few things. I have a uh, game game footage that I've used and so forth. Let's go for a few of the Fortnite pieces of uh, um, things here. Actually, we will do the drag and drop method because it will be a lot quicker because then it would be in the, within the timeline. Yes, there's a lot going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm always up to something. Uh, this is some of the videos that you've seen on the channel already. Um, just making sure that there's nothing that is copyrighted here that we want to put into the into the timeline. I'm just going to drag them in. Uh, it should be really quick. It shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Just drag it into the timeline. Obviously, some of it needs to be rendered, but we're not going to use the entire footage anyway. Uh, it should be just a moment here, and then we will get into finding out exactly what this uh, what this looks like because it, it sounds sounds absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna drag about four of those in. Just layering them up. It makes it a lot easier so I can see that they're actually within the timeline and not you know scattered around somewhere. Um, this looks like something that I actually would use for myself, especially for the YouTube channel. Uh, for you guys, this looks like a transition that I would use. Now I've, I think I've done this manually. I think I've done this myself without using this transition. So if it's what I think it is. It might look like my intro. So I just had to do a quick force quit there uh, to get Final Cut to respond because it was having a little bit of an issue. I think I was trying to import from an external hard drive a little bit too much and too quickly. Uh, just fixed the problem. The CPU was basically just telling me no. Um, so we're back now. Uh, what I'm going to do at this point as well, I'm just going to make a few cuts and I'm going to cut away some of this media because we don't need the entire, especially for a short transition like that. We're not going to need you know, for just this sample of what the uh, transition can do. I don't think we'll need all of that. Um, so now we have a few different pieces of media that we can work with. So we're just going to zoom in on our timeline here and get back to the transition. I'm going to select the transition. It's the first thing to do. And I can actually go to the browser and select what I need instead. Um, so we can go for the drop box here. And then we're going to select a, a piece of the media somewhere. I'm going to select me and I'm going to apply there. And I'm going to go through the browser a bit more and find some more that was imported. And let's do it again. So I'm going to select the transition. Then I'm going to select the drop zone. 
and I'm going to select uh, something to do with Fortnite. There we go. That's another one. Let's scroll up a little bit more. Let's look for something, for some variation somewhere. Um, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a scope there. So we'll go for the scope. Go here, see if we can find that scope. Where's it gone? Ah, oh, it's moved. Well, you're inside the house. Let's go for the house. There we go. And we're going to apply that as well. Back to the transition. It's a bit daunting because you have to go back to the transition after you've uh, made the selection. Uh, so let's move up again. Let's go and have a look for another piece of footage. And we are going to select da, 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 da. different color, different color profile right there, different Fortnite video that we're going to select there. And for the last one, we're going to select the loading screen, the first loading screen that you get to. Oh, actually, it's not. There you go. There's the first loading screen that you get to. Uh, just so we can see the variation within the transition. And at this point, obviously, you're going to have to render that. So we're going to render that as well. So you make your selection, you go up to modify, and then you click and select render selection. So that is now going to render that transition. Let's have a look at the render time now. So I'm going to talk you through it. it looks like it's going to be quite quick. You can see in the top left hand corner of the screen that is now completely rendered. So let's have a look and see what this looks like. You can hear the fans on my machine now going because it's having to work a little bit of overtime because of me importing very, very large files. Each of those videos were around one to eight to 10 gig. <laughs> um, so they were quite big uh, and they're importing right now. So let's have a look at that transition and see what it looks like. You ready? Let's go. See what? Okay, I like it. I, I do like it a lot. Let's play it again. I like the I like the 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 lens flare. It gives over the top of it. It looks like the last bit of the transition was a little bit too quick. I'm gonna drag. You can't extend this. this the, extend the, the transition as well. It's fixed. Oh, okay. Right, and you can go for different angles. You can go for blur intensity. There's a zoom intensity on there. Let's pull that up a little bit. Let's, uh, let's put a little bit of the, the blur intensity to see what that does. You got a prism on there. You got the angle. Let's mess around with the angle. Let's see what this looks like. There's a lot to mess around with considering this is a free plugin and a free transition. There's a lot you can do here. Let's render that again and see what that looks like. Up to modify and then we're going to render selection. I'm like, you can tell that I'm mega excited now about this transition because I did not, I did not understand what I had um, when I downloaded this. Um, but now I've downloaded this. This is one transition that I'm getting from this plugin here that I'm having a look at. I haven't even had a look at the other one yet. Um, so let's have a look. Press play. Woo! Woo, that looks good. I like the way it looks. Looks brilliant. So I'm going to pause it there and we're going to have a look at the other transition because <laughs> I got a little bit carried away there. We're going to have a look at fast transition. So I think we, let's just select it and then we're going to see the name here. We had fast cut transition. We're now going to go into fast transition. So I'm going to find the next piece of media. I'm going to zoom out slightly. I'm going to get rid of these from the timeline now because we don't, we don't necessarily need them there. Um, we're going to go for fast cut transition. So let's drop that. that. Yeah, that point should be fine. Again, we're going to render that because I don't have automatic rendering on my preferences. It's not my preference. It's not what I like. I don't like the software taking up too much room when it's not necessary. If you would like to find out how to save some room within Final Cut Pro 10 while you're editing, I do have a tutorial on that as well and you can find that on my channel. And also, if you're enjoying this video so far, give me a thumbs up here on my video, on our video because it's for you. Um, so yeah, yeah whoop, that's rendered. Let's have another look. Jeez! Yeah, I love that. I love that. That transition is, is like... Yeah, nah, that's, that's dope. That's fire. I love that transition. It's, it's possibly one of my favourite transitions right now. That is, that is, oh my days. Look at that. It's like, it, it reminds me of uh, that Chris Brown music video. I'm um, going a little bit off a tangent there, but it reminds me of a Chris Brown music video. Like when he... Uh, is it smile? Is it smile? When he goes to the fairground. Completely off topic there. But that is the first bit. So now before we end up the video, we're going to have a look and see if we can find any more starter pack kit assets that we got with this plugin. So first, let's go into the effects and let's see if there's anything here. It should be, you can see lens flare. That's completely different. That's a completely different studio where that was from. You've got the Pixafilm studio plugins and I don't see a Leno effects because it's all in alphabetical order. So there's no Leno effects there. Let's go into our generators to see if there's anything there at all. Uh, from the starter pack, 
I don't think there is. I, I know my editor quite a, a lot as well, so skimming this fast is, is very easy for me to spot if something's new, if something stands out, if something wasn't there that was, you know, that is there that wasn't there before. Um, I don't think there is in the generators. The generator is not part of the starter kit, I don't think, so far anyway. We're at the bottom now. Yep, there's nothing in the generators. Let's quickly look into the titles to see if there was anything there given with the starter pack. And we're just scrolling and we're scrolling and we're almost there just having a quick peek seeing if there's anything from the starter pack that was given in titles and almost there and nearly at the bottom now and yeah so that was it so the transitions are what are given uh, for the starter pack as far as I'm concerned and what I can find Absolutely brilliant two transitions, right? They're really, really helpful, especially if you're into, you know, uh, music videos and and you know quirky vlog videos, holiday vlog videos. I've seen those sort of uh, transitions in as well, and and those quick jump transitions, well, those are amazing as well. The fact that you can place your media within inside the transition, I'm impressed. I'm very happy with that. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember that the link to this plugin is available in the description down below. It's from lenofx.com. Um, yeah, man, I really enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one because I've got more free plugins, more video editing uh, topics that we're covering here on my channel, and more editing topics, not just video editing, and gaming, and I've completely lost my trail of thought here, <laughs> gaming and software as well. So see you in the next video, and thank you for watching. Peace. Oh,